Hi everyone, this is Alayar Games, and today I'm watching episode 3, well, OVA 3 of uh, Isekai Slime. I wasn't, well, I wanted to do this, but it turned out I couldn't up until now, or I just didn't up until now. Uh, and then I was just gonna leave it until, you know, soon after um, season 2 came out. But apparently, these are important, so I have to watch them before, and... There's only like a couple of hours till season two starts. So I have to watch three of these OVAs before then. Uh, of course, actually, I'm going to release these after it already airs because I'm going to put these in the same playlist as, well, my re release of my original reaction to Isekai Slime. So, yeah, it's going to be a little weird. For people watching it, like, way after, it's not going to, it's, like, not going to matter. Uh, because I'm still going to watch these in chronological order. I'm still going to watch these before the season starts. So, people will be able to watch the entirety of my first season reaction along with these, and then my uh, season two reactions, and it'll still be fine. Uh, it'll only be weird for people right now because I'm still currently re-releasing um, the slime episodes one at a time per day. So uh, season two hasn't started yet. And I'm still like halfway through it, maybe uploading. Because I didn't want to upload all of them at once. That would have been weird. Uh, I should have edited and re-edited and re-uploaded them quite a bit before, but I kept putting it off because... It's really annoying re-editing, uh, especially that many episodes at once. So I never got around to it. Uh, so yeah, they're going to still be releasing when I'm watching season two, which means these OVAs will be released later. But um, that's still fine. Uh, it's just that the people watching my reactions to the second season as they air won't have seen or won't have any context I have for these episodes, but only at first. You can always go back and watch those when they finally do release. Um, but yeah, let's just uh, see what this is all about. Actually, okay, before I start, though, I uh, a little bit before, like a, a few weeks before, maybe like a week or two before today, I didn't even know there was more uh, OVAs after the second one that I reacted to, like until now, and it's been so long since the first season came out, so I'm a little, I was a little surprised and shocked that they had released like three more of them. So <laughs> this shouldn't have taken me so long. Um, but yeah, let's just get started. All right, so it's back to the kids that Rimuru is teaching. All right, so it's taking place directly after that last episode, I think. Does heat accept you that? I mean, uh, affect you that bad? Or are you just lazing around? Thanks for summarizing that. It's been a long time. She's going to be pretty OP in the future, I think. I always like how he's always wagging his tail. That's really adorable. <laughs> also, just realized I never turned on push to talk again since the last incident. Should probably turn that back on. There we go. <laughs> oh. Well, Pretty sure you have skills to detect that, but <laughs> I 
That too. So how did they get that volleyball? Apparently there's volleyballs in this world. You know, I do wonder if his last thought while dying in his original world will ever just come back in any way besides the misinterpretation of whatever the world, I guess, of what he meant by uh, eating women, I guess. or I don't know. I forgot what it was specifically. I think this is the original opening, so I'm just going to skip it. Domain Lord. Is his mouth open or is that his mustache? I feel, okay, this is going to be solved really easily by Rimuru. I mean, he could. Or are those his lips? Because it seems he has mustache, like two mustache things there. This guy is apparently incredibly tall compared to that butler. I'm almost expecting Rima to come here and be like, oh, she's sick. All right, here, let me toss a potion at her. All right, let's move on. I forgot how much I like the art style of this of this show. Something bad gonna happen to this butler. I feel you're gonna die. Do they always interject in these, like, physically? I don't remember. I mean, I guess it's still mentally, but you know what I mean. Where did that come from? Seems there's some passive aggressiveness going on here. His haircut is just terrible. It reminds me of how Aqua and Cosmo are talking to each other. Not hodo, not hodo. She seems nice. Well, he does have a lot to envy, to be honest. But whatever he just said was not one of them. And sounded like one. I 
He can make some like instantly. <laughs> Acting surprised over something so incredibly obvious not knowing is interesting. Oh, that lady, she's just like watching this entire time. She hasn't said a single thing to interject. Again, he can just make equipment. Oh, finally she says something. This is a very interesting looking display here. So it's kind of like tailing a kid on their first errand. I think those are the same caves that we saw earlier in the episode. Well, that doesn't mean much to him. He, like, literally owns a nation at this point, so I don't know why money would be even be an object for him. Oh, his name is Jeff. His name is Jeff. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I made that same... I think I made that same joke when I was playing Half-Life Alex. If I was a kid, I'd be pretty upset at having to do another extracurricular thing. And I'll make them for you. Oh, all right. Out pops a sword. Ah, the shield hero. Um, you're going to have some troubles ahead of you, kid. All right. <laughs> That sounds like it'd be a pretty good match.
How do you know what a shuriken is? Or a ninja? I guess those exist in this world. Right now. Wait, where are you going somewhere? You could you had the ability to duplicate stuff, right? Yeah, like that. You've made swords before. That building is 3D, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Did everyone sense his arrival? That's a lot of people sensing this. Is it going to go through literally everyone? <laughs> yep. Oh, I forgot. Uh, I wanted to forget about her. She's still second best, though. <laughs> he just came for some weapons, apparently. Probably. <laughs> well, they are yours, just not from you. It should kind of specify how old the children are, since there's a gigantic variance in sizes of children. Oh, God, I really... Oh. She's the worst. Well, we're going to have quite some OP uh, equipment when he gets back. Please, oh, why do you have to be in this? Why? Why? And he moves them. Why? Oh... I'm going to need some eye bleach. So is he going to eat those and then take them in his inventory? Oh god, please move on. Okay, thank god. She was completely and totally unnecessary there. There was no reason for her to be there whatsoever. It was awful. He really uh, knew how to make an exit with the howl. That was not what I was thinking, but all right. I was thinking of something like a rapier. Oh, 
But that's almost like the tip of a spear. Well, let's see where he takes it out. It takes it out of. Oh, I just okay. They just showed it up here. But that's a camper, isn't it? <laughs> Went all out with that one. I just got one of the. Well, eh, not as good. <laughs> That's probably better than the amenities they have in their own houses. Is technically a lot of help. Summoning something? Oh, wow, that's horrifying. The, the the blue fire is cool, but the rest of his design, I can't say I'm too big a fan of. So how long does it last? Sounds like he's watching all this stuff. I'm impressed that you can see all of this and still think that. So I guess the next OV is just going to continue off this, which I didn't expect. It's actually just a continuation of the story. Also, let's see how that butler died. I'm interested to see how this is going to play out. So, about the butler. Well, you can't trust the butler, apparently. Alright, well, we got a nice little mini-arc started here. Um, like I said in the beginning of this episode, I do want to get this done quick because I have two more to go and there's only a little while till 
the first episode airs. So I'm not going to spend too much on each episode. I usually don't anyway, but yeah, I guess I'll just do the same thing as as I always do. Um, this is fun seeing the continuation of the story. It, it does feel like just another episode as opposed to like an OVA, like the previous two were. Um, I think one of them was like a beach episode and the other one was like a hot springs episode or something like that. I think it's been a long time since I saw it. I do remember I, uh, that was a moment in one of the OVAs where, uh, <laughs> Milam came over and I was pretty excited right when I heard her voice and I actually ended up making a gif out of that. <laughs> um, so if you guys are like on the discord, you can ask for that and I'll post it again so you can see or you can just watch it, I guess, but it's a fun gift to have. Um, yeah, enjoyable episode. Like seeing an, like this is its own little mini arc in the OVAs, which I wasn't expecting. I just thought it was going to be some more random stuff. Uh, so yeah, it is kind of important that I decided to watch this because this literally is what's happening in between the end of the season and the start of this new season. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.